So my local server on my machine uh, failed this time around. Um, and eventually I had to end up re reinstalling my computer and I lost all the settings I initially had. Now there's a project I was trying to restore from uh, WordPress online and I downloaded um, a file using the all-in-one migration tool which is a really great plugin by the way. However, my file ended up being about 3GB in size and there's no way I can import it um, from my local drive. Um, and, and that is because I have only 8 MBs that's allowed to be uploaded. So what happens is you're able to change this in your local server and that is by going into a, a, a file called a php.ini which is located in the, conf, in the configuration uh, folder. Now first things first is uh, you, what you should find out about your local MAMP um, server setting is you should be able to, to, to find out, um, for example, what, P, if, what PHP version am I running on my server. And right now I'm running PHP 7.2.10. Now, in order for me to change the, the, the right uh, PHP version, I need to go into my MAMP um, subfolder where it is installed in applications, go to the bin folder, then go to PHP, and then go to the corresponding uh, PHP version. You can see there are so many from 5.6 all the way to 7.2, 10. Then I'll go to the configurations folder and I'll open this in the PHP INI file. Now there are two things that uh, we should be able to change and I'm going to look for the upload um, file size which is a uh, Okay, which I, I am finding hard, which is I uh, at the upload maximum file size, which is right now saying it's 32 MB. I'm going to change this all the way to about 9 GB. Uh, that is 9,000 MB. And then I'm going to look for the post max size, which is saying it's 8 MB. Actually, this is what the computer is reading and saying that should be my maximum file size. I'll change this also to 9,000 MB. Now, if you give them uh, different values, of course the lower value is the one that's going to be attached to your local server. However, now I've chosen to have both of them coming in at the same size and now the next thing that's left to do is for me to actually... So, after changing them, um, the, the only thing that's left for me is actually to restart my server and I just need to click this OK, stop the server, wait for it to stop. And then next time I'm going to start it again. And when I start the server, it's taking its little time and sweet time. If I reload uh, this particular page that I'm on, you'll find that now I have nine GBs to install. And I can upload my file and voila, ready to go about it. I found a challenge uh, trying to get solutions from Stack Overflow. Uh, no one was explaining what was right, but after trying it a couple of times, I realized that if you set both of them at the same size, it will work out. If you set them a different size, it will work out. But just make sure that both those settings, the post max size and the upload maximum size are both all the way up. Um, if you leave one at just a few MBs, of course the server is going to pick that up and it's going to set that up as your server. Thank you for coming to the channel again. If you like the video, subscribe. If you, like the, uh, if you like the video, you can also like it and you can leave in the comments any challenges that you're finding with yourself. Maybe we can find a solution for it and share with the rest of the world. Enjoy your day.